Uh, trick play, was it um, designed to go to you all the way? It was. Uh, we've been practicing all week, and I told KC because uh, we was definitely game planning uh, in the locker room at halftime. Thank you. <laughs> she was like, I mean, uh, Coach and I was like, get ready because that play is coming. I lit the KC, I was like, bro, this, this is going to score, bro, because the safeties are biting hard and what? And everybody's keyed in on you, KC. I told him, I, I was like, bro, you sell that ball real, real good, like, it's going to be wide open. Turn around. He threw it before I even turned around. I was like, all right. <laughs> but it was a good, it was a good play design. Uh, great coach and my coach and I. It seems like he has a pretty good arm. He does. <laughs> yeah, in practice, if y'all if y'all really focus on him, now, like if y'all see him throw, he he can actually throw the rock. Yeah. And uh, just gotta put find a place where he can really expose himself like that. So. What do the last four games say about this team's resiliency of being able to bounce back and, and you go 4-0 and after the bye so far? Mm, uh, Coach Dorn talked about, you know, ever since uh, the bye week, we, we try to focus on a five-game season. That, and we ain't worried about nothing else, what happened in the past. We just trying to worry about going undefeated, finish up, finishing out this last five games undefeated. And right now we're at number four. We still got one more step ahead next week. So, And that's going to be a big one. So I think that everybody just coming together and really – Realizing what we have is special, and we can still aim for a ten-win uh, season. So that's still at stake, and we we have the faith that we can actually pull that off as well. So, and what's it been like for you to kind of see Brennan? You know, these last two weeks, seems like he's a he's a lot different quarterback than he was. You know, at the beginning of the year. Yeah, I, it's funny because every time I see him take down on the sideline, like I'm grabbing on with my teammates. I'm like, bro, B A is hard, bro. I was <laughs> like, bro, like nobody's really messing with him because. The thing is, like, I already knew what kind of player he was from when we played him like a, couple, a few years ago, and just have him on our team, and uh, I was like, we 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 got a good one here. We just got to know how to really use him, and uh, he and he already knows the uh, offense down packed as well. So it's good having that leadership role from him and uh, uh, playing for him and playing alongside uh, with him, knowing that this both our last year as well, and like we're just trying to make a statement for like this whole team going on out these next two games. How has he been better or playing differently since the, the first time he had the starting quarterback? Jim? I would say just a grit. Just a grit. He ain't going to let nobody, you know, I, he ain't going to let nobody talk down on him. Oh, the outside noise really impacted his game. He's really focused and disciplined on his craft, and that's all he does is just he's there for his teammates. As y'all can see, he was there for MJ when he was playing, and he's there for anybody that's, that's playing at that quarterback spot, and that's – that's really what, what we value in, in him is that leadership role, that voice, and a guy that we can really look up and depend on every game, offensively. UNC is up next, and um, that's a big one for y'all, of course. Um, what's the key to, you know, going undefeated in that five in that five games? Um, I say like, this this a message to Wolfpack Nation. Like, literally, come sell out the car next week. It's gonna be a fireworks. It's gonna be crazy. It's it's a big rivalry game, UNC Carolina. You know how it always goes, and you know it's senior night, and it's I ain't trying to really think about that right now, but it, it really just hit me to think about that next week is my last game in the Carter, mm -hmm. and uh, also a lot of these other seniors, and like we just trying to make a memory and make make the best of it, make the make people not forget that specific game that's coming up next week. So, and it's gonna be a good one. So, Trent, obviously, like. This team has shown a lot of growth, and it's, it's made a lot of history this year, despite some of those struggles that y'all have been through. What does it mean, you know, as a veteran player to, to be achieving all of this stuff? Uh, it, you know, just really holding up that standard uh, as an older guy, you know, trying to lead and bring the younger guys up with us. And, like, today, uh, it was Isaiah Shirley's first game at tight end. I was telling him, like, all week, I was like, bro, when you get in this game, bro, don't just play free, bro. Like, I gave him some insight from when I was in there before coach put him in there. I was like, bro, they, like you, you're gonna have a good time playing today, bro. Like you're gonna, you're strong. I go against you all the time, every day in practice, and I already know what you're capable of. So now you just gotta put it against another team, uh, actually playing. So and I told him I was like, bro, I have faith in you, and you did. And after the game, I went up to him. I was so happy for him. I was like, bro, like. You, you earned it, bro. Like, you, this is what you work hard for, practice all week for. And I told you, you ain't got nothing to be scared of, bro. Like, like we all the tight ends are behind you. We have faith in you. And we know you're going to do what you got to do. Going off that, what's it like for you as an older guy to see him or, or Jordan Poole, you know, kind of come over from the defense and make an impact, you know, when, they, when they're playing on the offensive it's side just, of the ball? It, it shows the, the amount of skill set we really have on this team. Like, you can really put anybody on this team. 
it, they not just one position, you can put them somewhere else and they'll excel from there. And just like I said, it came from D lineman and J Poole coming from LB. J Poole scoring a, a touchdown, and I was, I was like, bro, what? And then so, <laughs> and then I saw Isaiah, you know, moving, denting backsides, and like the one run came, one touchdown run came off of his block. So I was like, Isaiah, that was off your block, bro. Like, you gotta know what you're doing, bro. Like, you know. I hope you know, like, you're really moving these guys like it's nothing, bro. Like, so I was like, bro, this, I was just don't be surprised if you're still on this spot moving down the road. So, how All much right. is that? They would cut him off and get paid enough 